Not the oldest coach in college football being more adaptable than some of the youngest coaches in college football. Because at ACC Media Day, North Carolina's Mac Brown, he came out and did what so many coaches have done. He outlined the massive changes that have made the job of being a head coach much harder than it's ever been. Anybody can identify a problem though, but are you a solution person? Because it takes a true leader to find a way to turn those problems into opportunities. The fact that we have a man who's going to turn 73 this year, keeping up with the dizzying pace in college football, just proves that the thing that needs to stay consistent is your values. Because if your values stay consistent, then navigating the change in college football or anything else isn't that hard. Because true north is always true north. But the question is, what is Mac Brown's true north? Because he's been able to navigate this for decades. And he says it came from a conversation with Florida State's legendary coach, Bobby Bowden. So I asked Coach Bowden, why are you doing this at 84? And he said, uh, I have a purpose. And the purpose is to help these young people with their lives. He said, "If I, when I quit coaching, the next significant thing that will happen in my life will be my death. And I thought, that's pretty strong. And the way I feel is I love these guys. I don't like these guys, I love these guys. And they're so nice and they're such good people and they work so hard and they're so mature that my life right now has a purpose that I get to see them every day and I get to talk to them and I get to help them grow. After listening to that, <laughs> I still have a year of eligibility left because I left as a junior. Hey, hell, throw me my helmet, man. <laughs> um, this man said that these players give his life a purpose. And he even had another message for the coaches that say he shouldn't be out there at 73 or negative recruit. Oh, he's going to retire soon. And here's a quote from Mac Brown. Every coach recruiting against us says, I'm going to quit and six of them have been fired that said that already. So they ought to be worried about themselves. <laughs> and he out here throwing shots too. I can't even imagine disrespecting a man who had more than 100 wins at two different programs and he helped fix North Carolina's academic issues and has gotten more Tar Heels drafted in the last five years than all but one other ACC team. And he took UNC to his first ever Orange Bowl. So how does he manage to stay energized and excited when so many other coaches are out here complaining about the state of college football? The man is logical. He is pro NIL because it helps the players. Mac Brown is also pro transfer portal because it helps the players. And I know you remember how hard he went at the NCAA last year over his transfer player, Taz Walker situation. And also he's not exactly new to major changes in college football. Mac Brown was playing. He was playing at Vanderbilt when the Commodores integrated the team with its first black players. And you think any change in the history of college football has been a bigger shift than that one? There has been no other change in the history of college football that has been bigger than the integration and that shift right there. And Mac Brown had a front row seat to it. But you know the quote from him that really got me? Mac Brown says that none of the coaches, that they love the direction of the new college football, especially because they weren't given a say. But he said it's fun to figure it out. That's right, fun. Quote, it's fun to navigate and those that handled COVID the best won the most games. The ones that are handling NIL and transfer portal the best instead of griping about it are going to win the most games. It's just what you do as the structure in college football changes and moves forward. Considering the school that Mac Brown is coaching at, it makes sense that his attitude is just do it. Even though Jordan is a subsidiary of Nike, but you get the point. And I know that his team has to replace Drake May's production. And I know that North Carolina isn't going to get anywhere without being able to get stops on defense. But on principle alone, it's hard not to root for the Tar Heels to take the ACC crown in 2024. If for no other reason than to hammer the point home that if these young men really are your purpose, you don't care what gets thrown your way as a coach. It's a copycat game. And if Mac Brown wins with this attitude, then we all win. Let that sink in.